Hi everybody, it's Jake Johnson here for Jake Showcase. Today, what I'd like to do is help out all the moms out there and all the baby boomers who know a little bit about computers, but not very much, and help them to make their computer run nice and smooth. I get asked a lot to help out with computers, and you know, sometimes just the basics can help out. So I'm going to show you on the computer here how to take care of some real, real minor issues here that you can do yourself. Um, real simply. Okay, so let's take a look here at my computer. And you'll notice that I don't have a lot of icons or, or programs here. One of the things that slows down a computer is having a lot of programs. And of course, the bigger the program is, the slower your computer is going to run over a period of time. So don't get too many programs. Uh, on your, your system so that you have more space to be able to use your system. The other thing I don't have is any antivirus software. The antivirus companies want you to buy their software and scare you into all these viruses and malwares and all is going to come. I don't get any of that and I don't have any of it. So I just find by taking care of the nice simple basics you're able to keep your computer running nice and smooth so you can use it. So the, uh, the, the three things that uh, are important here is that we have to go into the browsers and we're going to delete the histories and then we're going to go in and, comp and, and get rid of some old files that might have built up over time. So we're going to go into Internet Explorer first which is the most popular web browser and in order to clean up the browser we need to go into Tools which is the fourth one over. You click on that, and down at the bottom, it says Internet Options. And you click on that. Now, in the Internet Options, under the very first uh, tab, there are three different uh, things I want you to see. There's Delete Cookies. There's Delete Files right beside it. And down below is Clear History. And we're going to go and clean all that up. So first, we're going to hit Delete Files. And it's OK. Delete. I'm sorry, delete cookies, OK, delete files. Now with delete files, there's a little white box there to delete all offline content. And you click OK. And then down the bottom it says clear history. And you say yes. OK. And it, just a little hourglass there while it's cleaning up the history. OK. So that means it's all done when the hourglass is over and you click OK. That cleans up your browser for Internet Explorer. The different versions will have the same uh, breakdown, even though uh, this, you know, it might not be exactly the same. But uh, you know, like IE, uh, IE7, IE8, they're all going to be very, very similarly laid out. Now, another popular browser is called Mozilla Firefox. Now, Mozilla Firefox, uh, it's much more straightforward. Uh, because all you have to do is go over to tools again. Now theirs is one, two, theirs is the fifth one, and the uh, second last one, second from the bottom, it says clear recent history, and this one actually uh, fills it all out for you. So it's cookies, cache, all of them get the green checkbox. Uh, this one doesn't have a checkbox right this second because um, I've just done this uh, moments ago. So I haven't done anything since. You just click clear now. Your choices are everything last hour, but it, it defaults to everything and you want to clean everything. So that just takes a moment to do. Now there is nothing in there for it to clean right now, but if, if you have never done that before, it might take you a minute or two for it to clean it out. And then you just uh, X out of that. So then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to clean the computer part. Now that's the browser part, now the computer part. And we do that by going down to start and finding where it says control panel and clicking on it. Okay. And we go to where it says performance and maintenance. So we click on that. Now the third one down says free up space on your hard disk. And that's what you want. So you want to free up space on your hard disk. And this window doesn't pop up. Um, it says disk cleanup. It comes up down the bottom here. 
and you actually do have to click on it. It's one of the very few times a window doesn't pop up for you. Um, but it's just calculating up, you know, if you got any old files. Um, I like to use the example of like if you had an old Netflix account and been using that for a while and little files get onto your computer that they, they leave like little tags and, and then they say if you close that and now you're using something else, uh, maybe you're using a, a different uh, video uh, service, maybe Amazon videos, well you still have some of that old dirt there. And if you've, been, if you've changed over a couple different times, you'd have a lot of dirt in there. And so it, you, we're just going to clean up all that dirt right now. Okay, and all these uh, green boxes, you want to make sure every green box is checked. They, I believe, default to all being checked, but just in case, just take a look. Okay, they're all checked. And then you just click OK. And then yes. And it just cleans it up. This would be pretty quick. Yours would be a little bit longer because I just did this uh, a moment ago. Um, had a little bit of a, had a little, just something I had to correct. Okay, so that cleans up uh, each of uh, each of those uh, those items. You've cleaned up your computer, you've cleaned up your browsers. The only other thing I can suggest is if you go to uh, Start and Control Panel again, and where it says Add or Remove Programs, it'll show you all the different programs that you have on your computer. So if there's something like way that you don't recognize at all, like uh, you know, credit I credit identity dot com program or something that you you've never heard of you know some bizarre name that you, you're pretty certain that it, you know some maybe some game or some some sort of unusual site that you know you don't want to have that on as part of your your system anymore all you have to do is let's uh, say it's Adobe Reader you don't want this anymore you just click on it and you go to where it says remove and you click on remove then it will uninstall the program some of the larger programs require a restart, but uh, pr pretty much it's all done here uh, on on your desktop right in front of you. It's pretty pretty straightforward. And the only other thing I can suggest uh, simply to you is what uh, is called re uh, you know just resetting your modem. And you do that simply by going to your modem, which is the thing that lights up like this, right? And then you just unplug where it's the power. Just simple like the power until the little lights go out. And then you plug in the power. Right? Until the lights go on. And that's called resetting your modem. And that will uh, that will keep uh, keep you nice and clean, you know, keep it nice uh, nice and fresh if you're having some problems. Now of course computer problems get a lot more complicated than that. And some other day I'm gonna get into more about you know fixing viruses and you know, just some, you know, more advanced stuff than that, but for mom, for mom and all the moms out there, and for dad and all the dads out there that, you know, they want to just get by, they don't want to be completely in the dark, and it's just, you know, why is my computer slow, what's going on, you know, if you do those, those uh, three or four things, you'll be ahead of the game, so watch out for the antivirus, keep your program uh, down, when people are asking you to download things, don't download them in general, unless it's absolutely it's Microsoft Win, you know something absolutely, you know something absolutely you're sure that you know what it is, and uh, you know clear out your history and compress your files and <laughs> reset your modem. So there's several things there that hopefully will help you. You know, if, if you got more of a problem, you might need to have a technician. But uh, if uh, you know that's the basics, that'll hopefully uh, keep keep. Keep at least one person rolling, all right? Well, I really, uh, I really hope you have a wonderful day, and uh, thanks for watching.